I was born and raised in Pittsburgh. I love this city and its people. I've had the privilege of being on DVE for over two decades. The listeners are like family. This is a show about what it's like when I step away from the mic. It's gonna be pure Pittsburgh. Some laughs, some stories, no BS, raw. the boats in the Bering Sea on the deadliest catch to the bird. That's right. I got the hangout with the captains from the deadliest catch. The Hillstrand brothers and Captain Sig. And we got the party. Pittsburgh style. Sig usually has the so, I know. Wait, oh, God. Well, is that like got skulls on it at least or something? Nah, oh, see, we're, we're, we're all working with you guys, man. Sure. I don't even know what it is. So my like wife. Like, we're just going to call it flames. Yeah, we'll call it flames. We're going to call it flames here. Your locks are already visor open. All right, so yeah, I'll keep it on. Oh, he's being nice here. Right? Yeah, I'll take it. Sig's just, just, just loading up. I can see everything just fucking rolling in his little mind right now. I'm stone cold sober. I'm going to walk out there and turn it on just to make sure it's happening. Now I'll take it off you. All right. John. Andy here. Yep. Sig here. That's my daughter Cash. She'll bring me out oh, okay. the uh, guitar. Oh, awesome. I'm going to do the guitar part. Okay. A little jam. I like it. Yep. Yeah, got a song awesome. Phil. We got Phil. a song about fishing. Oh, that's great. Yep. So we do like the Phil song right after we talk about, I don't know, they're probably already telling Yeah, they were giving me a little bit. Yeah, she's going to give me the lid. So, like, so. we'll talk about Phil and, like, and then they'll say, well, I heard you wrote a song or something. Like that. We tried to do that last night. So. Yeah. Went okay. Yeah. Where were we at last night? Uh, where the hell? Albany, Albany, New York. Albany. Wow. The palace. Okay. Uh, a little, a little traveling on that bus. Oh yeah. Some road well, we trip. slept. It was just like a like it's a boat ride. Yeah. Eight and a half hour boat ride. <laughs> like okay, like jogging to the gear. Just well, a little bit of rock. We'll do it here, so you don't have to worry. Let's just get this out of the way. You got, okay, yeah. you got, I, I got, I got Sig, and I got Andy Hillstrand here, and I'm on, on my microphone. I can hear myself yeah. echo. You're really loud. Man. You need to lower your voice. It's gonna I'll buy her own there. That's all I took. Yeah, I'm, I'm Mike Rowe. <laughs> Welcome to Deadliest Catch. The vast Bering Sea. Now, now the first question I have, um, Mike Rowe. Total asshole. Thank you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> Diva, Diva Extreme, loves screen M&M's, throws a fit if it doesn't happen. See, I idolize Mike Rowe. So we know this because you know you're a DJ, right? Yes, exactly. So, All DJs. I don't you know, like he has Mike the Rowe. voice. That's what he's got. He's got the voice. He's he's got the he voice. could say that you know he could say anything bad and, and it sounds good. Does he? Does he? I have questions. Well, screw this. Does he? Um, does he smell from dirty jobs? Oh, at all? You know, actually, that's a stunt double. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't even do his own stunts. No, so it's, it's just the voice over. Oh, okay. That's because he doesn't like to get dirty. Truth is, yeah. is yeah. that right? Yeah. I, I heard he wears a suit all the time, and he puts no, no. the hat on, the no, shirt. It's, it's you know. it's, yeah, he's huh. got a twin brother that you don't ever hear about. Yeah. So the biggest thing about Mike Rowe that I lost all respect for him yeah. was when he jerked off a turkey, mm. yeah. and then he bit the nuts off a sheep. Yes. So I said, dude, you're dead to me now. I says, like, come on, man. That's well, a dirty job that nobody that's a, wants. That's a dirty job. John's here, John. That turkey <laughs> travels with him now. <laughs> so oh, I'm sure he does. Yeah. Oh, they're like a, they yeah. bonded yeah, kind of together. That like turkeys too. Turkey no. sleeps with them too, you know. <laughs> so they have, but they have. What do they call the turkey? The dinner turkey. So he's gonna roast us now. I had a threesome the other day. I had a pig and the turkey and Mike. Yeah, so Mike Jack's. We don't even want to know what happened to the pig. So yeah. it's, it's Mike, the turkey. You can just have the picture. And 
the pit. Yeah. No, who who, who smokes, smokes more? That, a cig. You're, you're your ultimate smoker. How many how many do you go through? Like in the typical day working. We, we on, don't on smoke the, on the packs. Muck. We go through cartons. You guys go through Cases. cartons. I don't you, smoke I've never seen you smoke, smoke on the show. I, I That's what I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. So John, you. I I basically get worse thing by secondhand smoke. Well, you got to. I smoke a carton a day. We're trying to quit, man. It's not easy. Trying to quit. It's a disease. It's tough. It's tough with your job, man. You guys are in <laughs> such stress. Easy, yeah. I was it's just watching easy. it the other day at a DVR last week, and I'm watching it. I don't know how you do that, man, with that stress. That must be I'm unbelievable. Smoking, that, that's nothing compared to what you guys go through when you're battling those 40-foot waves. That's just, well, I mean, you know, we battle some 50, 60. Oh, this yeah. winter, uh, the, the, the stuff that SIG's out in that we're out in this yeah. year is just so amazing. We had three that's storms a, back to back. The, big, the biggest thing about the, the show this year is that's the character, the weather. Yeah. Well, the weather's the biggest character this year. Yeah. It beats wow. up people, broken bones, blood. I mean, I, just, I, yeah, just first ridiculous. four days. You know, you should do a Salsa Blue Oh, wow, well, I, oh, I got some from Fuzz. Yeah, yeah, like, well, you know what it is? My cat, I got like, Salsa Blue. I got four dogs and two cats. Yeah, I blame it on Ralph. But uh, for Ralphie, <laughs> Ralphie he gets all the blame, man. <laughs> but you know that he's gonna rip your. You're the one who asked for an interview. Get, it's like, no, he's like, you're my guys. You guys. As soon as the show starts, he's gonna come over and just rip. You guys can hang with me at Needs Bar, <laughs> man. You're my guys. You're not like no. These are regular. These so are the you guys. So the bar? Is that how you dress at the bar? Well, not today. We'll, we'll, we'll take it off. You know, you go into Hogs and Heifers and we'll cut that thing off. We gotta take it off. Sig might cut it off before the show's over. We don't know. We will. We just give him a pair of scissors. The man who runs the scissors. Tangle him with it. Got a problem with it already. But I only have like two ties. He's worried about these. I think you look like the conductor of the Pittsburgh Symphony going on here. Are you drive without? I only wear like two suits. That's all I got, and I put one on tonight. All right, I got. Maybe we should wear a suit on the boat. You just come out with your briefcase. Your serious sucker suit. You need a suit on the boat. That would be fun. They call it a Norwegian tuxedo. That's what the rain. Watch your measuring your measuring stick and your bait sack. You guys get me as a I could be. I think I could be a greenhorn. You'd probably work your way up after a couple years to the masturbator. I could do that. I could do that. That. It take a long time. To get I'm masturbating. I am masterful at that. Yeah, I, when, you climb into that cage and hang the hang the. the it bait. takes a lot, man. I'm telling you. I, I'll it's tell you what. You, you know, you, you work up the head baiter, and then that takes a couple years. Yeah. To, to well, be the guys, master baiter. Those guys are bruised from head to toe, from jumping in them pots, and the, oh, oh, they use their body. Cool. To, and it's like 80 pounds of bait. They got to clip. Yeah, up it's there. 40 pounds and 40 pounds. They got some arms, and we, we got the double heavy duty snaps this year, so they went break, and they're like, ah. oh yeah, poor little Eddie. I have a fear. I'd have a fear of going in that cage and going right over. Oh, it can, it's it, it, it could happen. happen. It, it has happened. happened. Oh my God! I know a guy that's gone over twice and lived. Charlie Ray. Yep, they caught the kidding. Yeah, they, they had a knife pot. clutched in his hand. He was hand. in the fucking yeah. pot, and the guy accidentally launched him. Yeah. He hit the wrong button. Same guy did it again. Them. Beat the fuck out of him. That was the end of the fishing trip. Who in the hell was oh, the guy? There was a guy that had one of those I'm in the pot, I'm in the hole. The hook? And you yeah. launch me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All that line is on the surface right. ripping through you by your body. So you're trying to swim yeah. with all that line ripping, trying to kill you. In the, and just the, the cold water alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If, if water. we fell in the cold water, we'd be dead so, instantly. I'd suck minutes, air. right? I'd be you dead in ten, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And I've been in that water. Once I get survived. I can't swim, so I'm dead anyway. Yeah, you can't swim at all. Unless you got flotation on, you're, you're going down right away. So it, does, it doesn't matter, though, right? It has, don't matter. He has a swimming pool. You don't even go in it. He's afraid of, afraid of the water. You don't even go in You don't even float in it or nothing? A little float? Uh, do, do you float? I sink. I try to float. My wife goes, anybody can float. I'm there, man. I'm... No, I'm just going down. I'm negative buoyancy. It's not not a good thing. We get sick in you know, in a survival suit in your pool, right? Because oh, that thing go. floats. Well, tonight you that's have to get idea. a suit in less than a minute. That's the that's the goal, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah, that's oh like people always want to know about how to get a job on the boat. Well, yeah. the, one of the tests is to get in a survival suit in less than a minute. And then then some of the guys are right, I'll, I'll just go out free. No, you don't, because it costs us nine thousand dollars just for your insurance for you to be out there with us. So Even if you just come out and sleep, oh, just to hang out. Off yeah, thirty bit. grand just to go just out there and watch us yeah. fish. Really? Yeah, it's like I'll give you thirty grand. I said, no, you won't. You're not going on my boat. Yeah, yeah. Wow. it's not worth it to us. It's, that's it's the fuel. Like, like what? The, the big guy last night. He goes, I'm a captain. Yeah. I've done this. I said, I said, no offense, sir. I go, it's twenty to thirty year old guys that we want. Mm -hmm. What do you make if you're a, 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 like not a greenhorn? If you're like a veteran, maybe you'd say five. Just made 120 grand in five and a half months. Five and a half. They months. make 10 to 20 grand a month. Okay. So if we work four months, see minimum wage. And, and it depends on their quota, how much you catch, the price of the crab, but and all that. Stuff. You don't risk your life for less than 10 grand a month. That's minimum wage. Bering Sea minimum wage is 10. 10 grand, grand a month. Yeah, it, we, had, we had a season they did like 30 or 40 grand in like. Yeah. Uh, my, well, my guys right? made seventy-four thousand dollars in two in two months. Wow! So they made wow. thirty-two thousand dollars a month. The risk is big, man. The money is oh, just yeah. huge. Perfect grabber wow. is a young guy wow. that's super ugly that doesn't have a girlfriend. Yep. 
It's what? stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Down. The guy you drop Perfect over the sea buoy, you, you have to pick him up with a sea buoy on the way back. Young, home. dumb, and full of cum. Mind over matter, I don't mind, and you don't matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are the best, man. We got Thanks, man. John, John Hill. <laughs> oh, I know. He he's wants that tie, Andy. man. It's sick. Down. Sick to be wearing that thing like that guy on the... the guy, what was that, what was that deer, the deer hunter, man, where he's got the tie on to his head sideways? <laughs> tell, your, tell your woman. He needs a new tie, honey. Yep. <laughs> okay, where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom, man? You guys are going to be busting balls tonight. I can tell. I can tell. That's what we do. We have fun. So, so the actual show was a blast. I got to sit up there. I got to hang with the guys, ask them questions. Now, going, being in Heinz Hall, I, I wore a tie in a suit. That's what they told me to wear. And I thought, all right, I'll do that. But when I got there, Captain Sig and John and Andy Hill are like, what are you doing with the tie, buddy? I'm like, well, you know, it's Heinz Hall. And they're like, no, 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 we don't like the tie. They really didn't like the ties, as you can see. Yeah, they, they, they cut it off in the middle of the show. Sig, Sig had uh, uh, scissors and a lighter, by the way. Partially burnt off. He really hated this tie. He must have thought I was going to audit him or something. Or I must have, what did I look like, an insurance salesman or something that uh, sold him bad insurance for his boat? I have no idea. But he did not like this tie. So there it is. I, just, I kept it. Souvenir, right? Why not? <laughs> Thanks, Sig. I'm just saying I give you a 10 out of 10 Thank because you, you control the Hillstrand brothers and Captain Hanson and uh, that's a big deal. <laughs> you were great brother. It was fun, it was fun hanging out with you man. It was awesome. I'm a big fan of shows you know so appreciate it man. All right. Andy's the driver. Andy's the driver. That's it. Don't be a little smooth. You still waiting on Sig? Love you. He's coming. What happened? You guys waiting on Sig? He's coming. Drop a heavy love What are they? What are they? Can they come with us? They come downstairs. Sure. 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 Sure